after two decades, Xbox Live Gold is done. It's over. Rip. R.I.P. Um, in its place, they are coming out with a new service called Game Pass Core. <laughs> I just saw Pete's face. Um, the end. It is. So Games with Gold is going away as part of this. Uh, Game Pass Core will be $10 a month or $60 a year. And it is going to be the minimum that you need to play online. Right? Uh-huh. Yep. Um, so, all your downloaded games with gold stuff. For Xbox Ones, you have to have either Game Pass Core or Game Pass Ultimate subscription to keep accessing those. Otherwise, they go away. Uh, Xbox 360 games are exempt from that requirement. Boy, this sounds like they just rebranded the base Game Pass as Game Pass Core. Um, I think they're merging the two services, is what it looks like. It looks like Xbox Live Gold and Games with Gold is gone. Toast. Okay. So now there will be Game Pass Core and Game Pass Ultimate. But they've, always, they've already had that. But it's they, not called Core right now. They're just rebranding it. Yes, and adding all the Games with Gold stuff to it. Okay, so I'm, what I'm hearing is not much is changing. <laughs> If I'm being honest, they changed the name. Uh, yeah, and they just get out of... Uh, you just won't be able to get Xbox Live anymore. Game Pass Core is uh, $60 a year. costs 10 bucks a month. The uh -huh. difference is that Game Pass Core will only have 25 games at launch, plus your old games with gold stuff. So, the games I'll have is Among Us, Descenders, Dishonored 2, Doom, Fable, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, Forza... Gears 5, Grounded. It's a short list. So the Game Pass Core will only have 25 games with it. This is dog shit. Game Going from 450 games to 25? Yeah. That's, that's what they're doing now. Gross. It'll be $60 a year, though. So average that out to, what, 5 bucks a month? Yeah, but <sighs> it's such a significant drop from the current... Base Live level gold game pass. Yeah. What? Uh, so I think all those will be rolled up into Game Pass Ultimate. I mean, I have Ultimate, and I'll continue <laughs> to have Ultimate. Yeah. Because I have a PC as well, but also like, what? Yep. And again, you have to have the Game Pass Core version to keep your games with gold that you got your free ones. So all the free games you were given with games with gold. To keep the Xbox ones, Xbox One ones, you have to sign up for Game Pass Core. You don't get to keep them. Yeah, Xbox it. 360, you can keep those. What do you think of this? When was this announced? Like a day or so ago. Listen here, you chicken shits. Four I hours ago? I, I just volleyed for you to have this Activision deal go through. And like... Two fucking days after it's done, a day after it's done, the day that it's done, you're just like, well, we're going we're gonna to give you 5% of the games for the same price. Maybe I'm overreacting here. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. All right, I will read the thing. Xbox Live Gold goes away September 14th. In its place is Xbox Game Pass Core, a cheaper version of the Game Pass service that allows players to play online together, as well as a curated selection. Um, you'll still have access to games you've downloaded as long as you maintain it, right? Uh, Xbox Game Pass Core, which will cost $10 a month or $60 a year if you buy the year package, will offer 25 games to play and access to online multiplayer. Okay. Full stop. Okay. So here, here, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. The base level... Yeah, Xbox Gold is going away. That's fine. The, the base level Game Pass was $10 now. Mm -hmm. Right? And it has the 450, 420, whatever number they brag about games. Xbox Live Gold was included in both of those. And you got Xbox 360 games yep. that you could claim. And now they're <laughs> like, well, the Xbox Live Gold service is going away. It's, yes. It's not called that anymore. It's being folded in. The live service where you play online is Dude, being folded Game Pass in. Core. Yeah, which was, it already had it. So they're just removing the the Xbox Live Gold tag, just delete that, and less games. So this is their way of sugarcoating, giving you 95% less games for the price you pay. 
That is how that reads in my mind. Yes. Now, somebody in the chat is asking you, how many games do you play each day that you need access to? I don't know if I would say each day. Each but it's, day? I don't play games. I'm fucking busy. Uh, but let's say a month. <laughs> let's Sorry. Say a month. How many games do you play a month or a quarter? Oh. Hmm. We've talked about this a bunch of times. 10 to 15, I'll try them. Right. Let's see. But see, that's also out of a, a wider variety that you have access to. Now they're saying you have access to these 25. That I don't want to play. That you may or may not want to play. Yeah. In Game Pass Core. Yeah, I just don't... I heard some of that list and I was like, eh. Eh. It's mostly last gen stuff. Like that's what a lot of the Xbox Live Gold like games that you get for free are. They're 360 games and stuff. Stuff mm -hmm. that I've seen stuff on there. I'm like, I wanted to try that 15 years ago and I never got around to it. Thank you. Or the or Xbox One games. Yep. I just like it just seems and I'm I feel like I'm missing something. This seems like a downgrade heavily masked as an upgrade. They're taking away stuff from you and trying to bill it as a good thing. Yeah. But then what the, I think they're trying to do is kick everybody, get everybody. They're trying to incentivize you to go that extra step to ultimate. Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, that's, that's the model here is we're, we're trying to kick you up to go to ultimate. Yeah. Because look how much more you get for five bucks a month. Yeah. Hey nerds, thanks for watching. Visit gamersheavenpnw.com for our merch store, which you can get cool shirts like this and rep some of my awesome art. Also, like and subscribe for more content so we can make more videos for you.